Dear students, today we will discuss about pomegranate diseases and its management. Pomegranate Punica granatum is an ancient and favorable table fruit in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. It is commercially grown for its sweet acidic fruits which provide a cool refreshing juice and is valued for its medicinal properties. Its popularity is also due to the ornamental nature of the plant especially when bearing bright red flowers throughout the year. In India, it is considered as a crop of the arid and semi-arid regions because it can be grown even under conditions of severe drought and frost. The fruit rind, juice, leaf and roots are used in the preparation of various Ayurvedic medicines. Important diseases of pomegranate, their symptoms and management practices will discuss today. Important fungal diseases. Some of the important fungal diseases are sarcospora leaf spot, alternaria fruit spot, heart rot or black heart, botrytis or gray mold, anthracnose, wilt of pomegranate, spacelloma leaf spot, Formopsis fruit rot. So these are the important diseases. Now let's discuss one by one. First is the Sarcospora leaf spot. It is caused by Sarcospora punicae. Let's see how the symptoms looks like. Light brown spots on leaves and fruit which enlarge and coalesce to form large black patches on fruit. Black elliptical spots appear on twigs and become flattened and depressed with a raised margin. Infected twigs dry out and die. Infection may cause plant death. So this is about the symptoms. Now coming to the epidemiology of the disease. Disease emergence is favored by rainfall and water saturated soil. Management of the disease. Diseased fruits should be removed and destroyed. Infected twigs and branches should be pruned out. Application of appropriate fungicide can help to control the disease. Second important disease that is the alternaria fruit spot. It is caused by alternaria alternata. Let's see the symptoms. Small reddish brown circular spots appear on the fruits. As the disease advances, these spots coalesce to form large patches and the fruits start rotting. The fruits get affected which becomes pale and become unfit for consumption. Now let's see the management of the disease. All the affected fruits should be collected and destroyed. Spraying Mencozeb at the rate of 0.25% or Captan at the rate 0.25% effectively control the disease. Next disease is the heart rot or black heart. It is caused by alternaria species. Let's see the symptoms. Interior of fruit rotting with no external symptoms. Infected fruits are usually lighter in weight than healthy fruits and may be paler in color. Wounds must occur after flowering. Initiation for these two infections to occur. The only exterior signs of disease would be a slight off color in the peel and a lighter weight due to 
internal decay. However, this problem usually is not apparent until fruit sorting after harvest. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. The disease appear after rains as the flowers begin to open and in fact the internal portion of the palm granite. Next important disease that is the botrytis or grey mold. It is caused by botrytis cinerea. The symptoms of botrytis mold are interior of fruit rotting with no external symptoms. Infected fruits are usually lighter in weight than healthy fruits and may be paler in color. This is about the symptom. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. Gray mold causes problems after harvest. While the trees is flowering, airborne spores are spread to the open flowers and enter the fruit. The disease is activated with free water commonly during the post harvest wash and spreads when stored in room temperature. Now let's see how to manage this disease. Post harvest fungicide is used. It can get into the crown of the fruit to prevent infection. Fluodioxonyl phenhexamide is registered for pomegranates and can be used to prevent grey mold. This is about the grey mold management. Next disease is the anthracnose. It is caused by Colletrotoicum blue sporoids. The symptoms of anthracnose appears as small regular or irregular dull violet or black leaf spots with yellowish halos. Leaves turn yellow and fall out. Symptoms appear on flowers also. Both tender and mature fruits develop spots, which are initially circular, later becoming irregular brown to dark brown, covering the fruit partly or wholly with sunken centers. Diseased portions appear with minute black dots representing acer vulai. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. The disease is severe during August-September when there is high humidity and the temperature between 20 to 27 degrees centigrade. Primary source of inoculums is infected leaves. Secondary source of inoculums is windborne conidia. Now coming to the management of the disease. Spraying of diphenconazole 25EC at 1.0 ml per liter or Prochloras 45EC at 0.75 ml per liter. Spraying of systemic fungicide namely hexaconazole at rate 1 ml per liter or thiophenate methyl at rate 1 gram per liter or carbendazim at rate 1 gram per liter at 20 days interval is quite effective. Among the contact fungicides, chlorothionyl at rate 2 gram per liter followed by mencozeb 2 gram per liter is more efficacious. This is about the management of the disease. Next important disease, wilt of pomegranate. It is caused by Ceratocystis fimbriata and Fusarium oxysporum. Let's see how the symptoms look like. Affected plants show yellowing of leaves in some twigs or branches, followed by drooping and drying of leaves. The entire tree dies in few months or a year. When affected tree is cut open lengthwise or cross section, 
dark grey brown discoloration of wood is seen. Now coming to the epidemiology of the disease. Primary source of inoculums is soil and secondary source of inoculums are conidia water. Disease is more in heavy soil and increases with soil moisture. Now let us see how to manage this disease. Do not allow water to stagnate. Try to create drainage facility. Do not irrigate for 2 to 3 days after drenching. At initial stage, drench 2 ml propiconazole plus 4 ml chloropyrifos per liter water solution. Drench 8 to 10 liter of solution per tree. If any plant already wilted, drench chemical as per above mentioned, then remove entire plant along with roots and burn it. Drench with formaldehyde, adderate 25 ml per liter is also recommended. Next disease is the Spheceloma leaf spot caused by Spheceloma punique. Let's see the how symptoms look like. The disease attacks leaves, shoots, calyx and fruits. Rusty spots appear on leaves. Infected leaves turn yellow and die. Rust colored pustules appear on the fruits. This is about the symptoms of the disease. Next, the epidemiology of the disease. Drizzling rains and abundant dew favored disease development and spread. Now coming to the management of the disease. Spraying with 0.1% carbondazim or 0.1% thiophenate methyl helps to manage the disease. Formopsis fruit rot. It is caused by formopsis species. Let's see the symptoms of the disease. The disease starts from calyx and gradually spreads over the entire fruit. Pycnidia of the pathogen appear on the affected area. The dry rot starts from leaves and move to the fruits. This is about the symptoms of the disease. Next coming to the management of the disease. One spray with Paranox can check the secondary infection of the disease. The disease can be greatly reduced by 3 sprays at 10 days interval with 0.5% Paranox with Albodium. This is about the management of the disease. Potent Bacterial Disease of Pomegranate Bacterial Blight it is caused by Genthomonas auxinopodis pathova punique. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. Appearance of one to several small water soaked dark color irregular spots on the lips resulting in premature defoliation under severe cases. The pathogen also infects stem and branches causing girdling and cracking symptoms. Spots on fruits were dark brown, irregular, slightly raised with oily appearance, which split open with L-shaped cracks under severe cases. Now let's see the epidemiology of the disease. The primary source of inoculum is infected cuttings. Secondary source of inoculum is wind splashed rains. Continuous or intermittent rainfall for a longer period congenial maximum that is 29.4 to 35.6 degree centigrade and minimum temperature of 19.5 to 27.5 3 degree centigrade and relative humidity of 63 to 87 percent were found favorable for the development and spread of the disease. 
Now let's see how to manage this disease. Provide wide row spacing. Selection of disease-free seedlings for fresh planting. Give minimum 4 months rest after harvesting the fruits. Before pruning, it should be sprayed with 1% bordeaux mixture. After ethereal spraying or defoliation, pest or smear with 0.5 gram streptomycin sulfate plus 2.5 gram copper oxychloride plus 200 gram red oxide per liter of water. Spray 0.5 gram streptomycin sulfate or bacteria nasak with 2.5 gram copper oxychloride per liter of water. Next day, spray with 1 gram zinc sulfate plus 1 gram magnesium sulfate plus 1 gram boron plus 1 gram copper sulfate per liter of water. This is about the management of the disease. Pomegranate is attacked by several pathogens causing different type of diseases. Among these, most important fungal diseases are Sarcospora leaf spot, Alternaria fruit spot, Heart rot or black heart, Botrytis or grey mold, Anthracnose and recently a minor bacterial disease emerges as major in India is bacterial blight. Management of the diseases depends on proper diagnosis of the disease. That means whether it is caused by fungi, bacteria or other means. The most effective and sustainable control of the diseases will be obtained when different management strategies are integrated together to minimize diseases as a result less yield loss.